What's up guys, it's me Jeremy. You guys know I love that secret, you know, hidden parts of the game and especially its development and honestly bugs have turned out to be like a really cool twist that's been a lot of fun to cover throughout a bunch of videos. And it is getting a little bit harder to find them every once in a while, but rioters do continue to post new ones and so we definitely want to give a big shout out courtesy of the awesome Riot Meme 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 who shares a lot of these bugs on social media as well as the other rioters that just share information about the development of the game in general. So let's jump into our list. We're taking a look at another group of bugs that didn't make it into League of Legends. And if you guys enjoyed the video, definitely hit that like button and let's begin. So our first bug that we're taking a look at today definitely isn't game breaking, but it is really fun to look at that probably would have ended up as a pretty funny joke if it made it into the live game. It was a problem with Yasuo's animations where he'd be stuck lying on the ground like in his death pose. Even when he respawned at the fountain, he'd still be chilling out on the floor, essentially refusing to pick himself up and do what he's told. The best part is that you could kind of move around on the floor issuing move commands and you would just like slide around and stuff. The bug did fix itself after a while, maybe if you got far away enough from the fountain or forced an animation change by maybe throwing out a cue. Next up is a bug that we've seen happen before with other champions, but this time it's with Talon. It's some kind of problem with the models and essentially it causes all the textures to go crazy and just totally spaz out all over the place. And if you've ever used a custom skin for a champion that then got an updated model from Riot, you'd probably see something similar happen. And it's always funny to look at while you kind of wobble around the map with body parts flying everywhere. It's probably the same kind of issue here, you know, some kind of disconnect between the model, the skin textures, but either way, it looks super crazy and honestly really painful for Talon. At least he's getting some love from Riot soon, hopefully he'll be feeling a little bit better once the Assassin update finally patches him up. You know, sometimes champions do get a little bit jealous of each other, and Vladimir is pretty cool with his blood magic and all, but you know what else is cool? Rek'Sai. I mean, she can tunnel under the map, pop out of nowhere, it's sweet. Well, Vlad clearly wanted in on that Rek'Sai action too, since this bug caused him to walk underneath the map, and the only part of him left you can see is actually the top of his head. And we don't know exactly what might have happened to trigger this bug, but it probably has something to do with like his sanguine pool popping his model under the map, and then Vlad not actually being able to rise up out of it again, so instead he just cruised around like a creepy little shark hunting down people like Jaws. Rek'Sai's had her own issues in the past though, and this next bug was caused by Rek'Sai hitting another Rek'Sai actually. Clearly, it'd be super damaging to your mental health if you had to kill a copy of yourself, and that's definitely the case of what's going on here. Whenever she clawed at the enemy Rek'Sai, she would just start going crazy, standing up on her hind legs and putting her belly in the air, really just going pretty crazy in general. We've seen bugs happen when champions use different animations before, you know, like auto attacking as an example, but having a bug that only occurs when you attack someone playing the same champion as you is definitely an interesting one. Our next bug is from Zyra, and it seems like she does kind of show up a lot on these lists, and it turns out Zyra is a pretty buggy champion. I guess plants do attract bugs anyway. This bug was on her Q Deadly Spines, and everything seemed pretty normal until the abilities animation should be finishing up with the spikes going back into the ground. But instead of retreating back into the underground, the spikes decided, well, they just wanted to keep going up and just flew up off into the sky. And this bug definitely happened on Wildfire Zyra. We're not sure if it was exclusive to the skin or not, but either way, it was actually pretty funny to see. Since we're already on the topic of Zyra, here's another one of her bugs. Instead of Deadly Spines, this ability bug was actually on Zyra's E, Grasping Thorns. It was a really old bug, even from before the old Summoner's Rift update, so this one we're popping out from the history books, but it's surprisingly similar to the last bug we mentioned. Instead of the vines kind of rolling around through the ground, they just stuck straight up and ended up looking like they were kind of doing the wave, and it looked like... Oh man, they were cheering for their favorite sports team. So this next bug is definitely a pretty weird one, and it features our favorite mustache champion, Braum of course. So this bug occurred when Braum would lift up his shield to block an incoming Syndra ultimate, so the interaction between the abilities started off pretty much fine, but once the ultimate ended, something weird would actually happen. 
instead of the particle effects from Syndra's spheres disappearing, they would actually just start multiplying and just spawning more and more glowing balls in random directions away from Braum, making it look like he took an infinitely more powerful hit than he actually did. We have absolutely no idea what crazy bit of code made this one happen, but that's what happens when you're dealing with spaghetti on a daily basis, and it makes you wonder how many abilities have had weird interactions, when Riot releases crazy new champions or reworks with new mechanics, and how hard it would be to make sure all those abilities, you know, all play nicely with every other champion in the game. Our next bug for today was on the Demolisher Nunu skin, and for some whatever reason, whenever you tried to move around the map, Willem would start to levitate instead of sticking on Nunu's head. Everything's fine if you stop moving and the idle animation doesn't seem to have any problems, but for whatever reason, moving would cause Willem to leave Nunu behind. Also, Nunu's head would disappear, so that's pretty silly too. Fortunately, bugs like this are really easy to discover, since you don't have to go looking at any weird or unlikely ability combinations like the last bug in order to find it. Easy to discover though doesn't necessarily mean easy to fix though, but since it was probably a bug exclusive to this particular Nunu skin, hopefully it wasn't too much of a pain in the butt for Riot to deal with. Next up we have a bug from Yorick that's finally making it onto the list, and this is one that was an original Yorick bug that was happening with all of his skins, and it's actually super close to what happened with one of the Zyra bugs that we talked about in a previous video a while back. So the Zyra bug would cause Zyra to actually just grow other Zyras instead of plants, and this Yorick bug does actually pretty much the same thing. Instead of summoning ghouls, Yorick would replace their texture with mini versions of himself, even rocking the same skin. This was before the rework, by by the way. And the skin texture was definitely not made to fit the ghouls, so the skins were kind of distorted, but you can instantly recognize that those are definitely not intended to be spawning like that. I guess the only thing cooler than one pen to kill Yorick is four of them. Next up, let's talk about a bug that probably would have been super game breaking if it wasn't caught and actually made it onto the live servers. So this one's from a Lucian bug that started happening while Riot were trying to tidy things up with his spell data, whatever that means. And the end result is that firing a Q now resulted in a massively wide skill shot. And so instead of the thin line along the particle effect, it was actually wide enough to hit ranged minions, stood about two Teemos away from the melee minion line that Lucian was actually aiming at in the example, and if that hit the live game, oh man, then there pretty much would have been no way to escape the damage unless you could retreat back away from Lucian himself, and at two Teemos, that's even wide enough to hit someone who tried to flash away to the side. Oh man, that one would have been crazy. And our final bug for today is a really old one actually that happened on the original version of the ARAM map Howling Abyss, which was the map originally called the Proving Grounds. So this bug originated from missing assets, so some kind of like texture or particles that should have been showing up when Maokai was in the game, maybe using an ability or something, but instead of showing the ability, Maokai would surround the map with just a complete blueness, almost looking like he was trying to flood the map or something. Pool party Maokai, confirmed. Anyway, that's just about going to wrap up our list for today's bunch of bugs that we were looking at. These are bugs that, again, didn't actually make it into League of Legends, stuff that was ironed out before the release, and it does definitely give you an appreciation for all the QA and bug fixing that Riot does before things actually get launched. So definitely let us know which bug was your favorite in the comments below. It is actually getting pretty difficult to find these, so I don't know when the next episode of this series is going to be. Either way, though, so if you guys maybe have some awesome bugs that you'd want us to showcase in a video, definitely let us know in the comments below or in maybe a Twitter DM or something like that. Either way, it looks like that's gonna be for me. If you guys enjoyed the video, drop a like, subscribe if you want, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.
it's so important to consider this question. What do I desire? Desire. Desire. Desire.